What's going on YouTube? A bunch of you reached out to me after some of my apartment tours and said, dude, your apartments are great. I love them. It's cool. They only cost four or 500 a month, but honestly, I need a more budget friendly, more budget conscious place. Do they have that over in Thailand or am I going to be in some kind of dump? So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to take you to a budget friendly option where you can get a really nice studio apartment for between $160 a month and $250 a month. You can also get one and two bedrooms in there as well, but I'm going to show you a pretty budget friendly option. Unlike most YouTubers though, I'm not just going to show you, I'm going to actually stay the night in the unit. <laughs> What is going on YouTube? Greetings from Chiang Mai, Thailand. I'm in the neighborhood of Niman. That's actually Niman Heyman Road right over there. And in today's video, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go to an affordable condo building where they have, con where they have uh, studio condos uh, that you can rent by the month for as little as 160 US dollars a month but I'm gonna be a little bit different than most YouTubers. I'm actually gonna stay in that condo for the night so it's not just me walking around with some real estate agent, having her show me to the, pl the place and then at the end of it going, yeah, you should come here and rent this without having stayed there and you know, figuring out if the hot water doesn't work or that it's noisy because of the street noise or that there's people partying in there or something like that. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. By the way, this is one plaza here in Neiman. It's pretty awesome. Uh, there's actually salsa lessons on Saturday night in here. So if you're into salsa dancing, they have salsa dancing, but they also have lessons. They have a little kind of like night market type of thing here. They have great little places to eat over there. A lot of Thai food, but also Western food. By the way, we're in the neighborhood of Neiman, which I already mentioned. And like I said in the intro, people reached out to me and was like, Kevin, it's nice you say in all these, you know, um, budget friendly places, but four and $500 is not really budget friendly to me. I wanna see some of these more inexpensive places. So that's why I'm doing this video. I wanna show people that you can come to here and stay in the most expensive neighborhood in Chiang Mai, Neiman, and still only spend, you know, 160 to 250 bucks a month on a place and so it's affordable for just about anybody so let's go i'll show you a little bit more of the neighborhood as we're walking over to the condo building that i'm going to be staying at tonight all right like i mentioned if you're an og to my my channel you probably remember when i stayed in chiang mai thailand oh my god the sun is so bright right here <laughs> let me move over here so I'm not all washed out. The apartment I stayed at is actually this apartment. So I'll link that apartment tour up here. This is a really cool place. It'll kind of remind you of some of the other places I've stayed in the past. There's a really nice pool up there. There's a gym. It's really cool. I don't know exactly how much it costs now. I think back then it was somewhere around five to $600. Might be able to get it more, might be a little bit more inexpensive, um, but it, it was a really nice apartment. That's also where I got my head shaved. <laughs> so if you've been following me, you know I, sh I had uh, three of my friends shave my head. They were really gracious. They did it in one of these apartments up there, actually. So uh, that, I got a little bit of a history with that place. Oh, by the way, the shave the head thing. Um, pretty soon, my buddy Harry from Bald Cafe is going to be featured on Rachel Ray. Well, as part of that feature, they're going to use some of his footage of me when I uh, shaved my head and I was on his show. So that'll be pretty cool. I'll be on the Rachel Ray show pretty, pretty soon. So make sure you check out Harry at Bald Cafe. He's got a great, if you're follically challenged like me and him, he's got a great channel to help you make that transition from hair to no hair. <laughs> this place is also really great too. It's called Wish Bar. They got, if you like seafood, they got a seafood bucket. They got beer. How y'all doing? <laughs> they got beer. They got a bunch of stuff and just like, all, all over the place in Thailand. There's a massage parlor. You can get a one hour foot massage for 250 baht in there. I've been there many times. It's, uh, that's about, um, what, three, four, five, about eight bucks for a one hour foot massage. You can get a full body massage for under $10. But there's one right by the apartment that I'm gonna go show you. So uh, that's, that's where we'll go right now. And I'll show you all the little things around the apartment that you would be staying at for 160 to 250 bucks a month in 
Chiang Mai's most prestigious or most famous or most um, hipster neighborhood. You always got to be careful crossing the street here, though. You get yourself killed. You will get yourself killed. So uh, this, this apartment building is actually right next to the apartment building that I showed you that, I, that I'm staying in right now. It's actually that building right there, right? So not very far from where we just came from. And we're going to cross the street here real quick. Whew. So you've actually got a bunch of really a bunch of things that are really conveniently located. A one minute walk. You got a pharmacy right here. You can get all kinds of stuff that would that you'd need a prescription for in the U.S. You can get here uh, almost whatever you can think of. Most stuff, most stuff you don't need prescription. And this is a great little place to eat here. I ate here with Forrest from Forrest Lee uh, the other day, which is pretty cool. And um, Thailand to Thailand uh, ate with us as well. You also have the anything you want, you can probably find 7-Eleven right here. I know 7-Elevens aren't super popular in the, in the Western world, but in Asia they're super popular and they're just like grocery stores here, like tiny grocery stores. And so that's a great little place to go. And this is the coffee shop that I go to all the time. It's called Rex and it's pretty cool. Um, and that's the building I'm staying in, right? That's where my monthly is. And so this is the building right here. So right in the little same plaza, you've got this, um, you've got this uh, little grocery store. It's like a bunch of Japanese stuff. So I get all my green tea there, which is great. Here's the laundry. My unit in this building and my unit in that building do doesn't, have, um, doesn't have a washer, but in here, you can wash your clothes for 30 baht, which is about a dollar, a little bit under a dollar. And let me show you what else is over here. So, oh, there's a law office. Maybe I should see if I can get a job there. Um, <laughs> I wonder if they'd hire an American lawyer. There's a dress shop if you're into dresses. They do a bunch of custom things in there. Here is a place to get your haircut if you need to get your haircut. And this place, they do like nails and that lady's getting something done to her face. I don't want to stick this camera in there, I feel bad. But what's really cool is that's the front door to this building right here. What's really cool is you've got a massage parlor right here and check it out. Thai massage, 250 bucks for an hour. Uh, that's only like $8. Foot massage, same thing, herbal massage, oil massage, all that kind of stuff. So that's pretty cool, right? Um, before we go in here real quick, I'm gonna show you what units are available in here. Uh, there's a few of them. So there is a basic studio and that is 5,500 baht, I believe. I'll put it up on the screen while I'm talking about it. It's nice, it's clean, it's cool. <laughs> um, and it's only about 160 US dollars. So 5,500 bots about um, 160 US dollars. The next step up is just a, a regular studio and it's 6,000 baht, which is a little bit more under $200, actually well under $200. Um, I might be getting these prices wrong, but I'll, I'll blast them up there. Um, and then the one I'm gonna stay in is the executive studio. And that one is 7,000 baht. It comes with, all of these come with Wi-Fi. They all come with free Wi-Fi. They all come with maid service once a week. So you get your room cleaned once a week. You get your linens changed and you get new towels once a week. I believe they change the towels on another day as well. So you get two towel changes, I believe. You do have to pay for electricity. So whatever you spend on electricity, you gotta pay for. Um, based on my own experience, depending on how much you use the AC is what dictates that. Even when I've used the AC every single day, the max it's ever been is $85 for me, somewhere around there. Um, but normally it's between, uh, for me, you know, turning the AC on and off, it's around 40 to 50. And if you don't use the AC that much, um, you can get it for less than that. Although you can see I'm sweating a little bit here, so I'll probably use the AC. <laughs> so let's go on in. So this building is really basic, but it's nice and clean, as you can see. And you've got five floors here, right? The apartments start at the second floor. I'm actually on the second floor. 
but they do have an elevator. So I mean, if you need an elevator, they have an elevator. I'm just gonna walk up the stairs and, uh, and hit up the place, so. We're gonna go this way. I'm in room 207. As you can see, it just looks like a normal apartment or hotel type of setup here. And I'm gonna stop right before, the, right before we go in and I'm gonna switch to wide angle. So I unlocked it so we could just get in, but you can't lock it, obviously. All right, here we go. So this is very, very basic. I kind of call this a bachelor, bachelorette suite, or maybe a couple that likes to eat out suite. But for me, this kind of thing is perfect. So there is no kitchen, although you can get one with a kitchen inside this building. But there is a refrigerator, which is all I use when I have a place. I mean, I always say I'm gonna use the microwave, but I never end up doing it because food is so inexpensive here, so I don't really save food and to heat up. I just get fresh food the next day. So that's basically your kitchen. You also have a, a water pot here, and it comes with coffee. Obviously, you have toilet paper and some, uh, some shampoo and stuff if you're staying here short term. So you can make your coffee. You can buy these in the 7-Eleven. They cost nothing. So if you wanna make coffee that way you can, but I'll show you in a minute, there's a really good coffee shop here. So you, don't, you probably don't wanna do that anyway because you can get really good cheap coffee at the coffee shop right next to this place. So there is a little couch. So you got somewhere to sit and relax if you want. And you've got this great closet here. So plenty of storage, got all these little storage nooks. You can fold up your clothes and put them in there. And you know, you got a big giant closet. So if you have, if you need a lot of clothes or if you're gonna stay here a while, you wanna put some knickknacks up, you can. But that's pretty cool. And then you got this nice little brick looking wall. It's not real, but it looks real. Gives it a nice little ambiance. Got a whoo, comfy leather couch feels pretty good then you got a bed comes with two towels hair dryer what do you think you think i need you think i'll need the hair dryer i don't know it is getting kind of long up here but it does come with a hair dryer if you need something like that uh, i haven't slept in the bed yet i'll let you know tomorrow whether or not that bed was comfy and whoop, let me back up here so you got this big long desk so I've got my computer set up here. The internet is pretty good. It's somewhere between 20 and 30 down and 30 and 40 up, which is nice for a YouTuber. You have a television here, Samsung television, and it has um, cable. It's mostly Thai channels, but there are about 10 English speaking channels. You even have some American news channels like Fox News, RT, Al Jazeera, BBC, America, you have those type of things. You have like Animal Planet, which is playing right now. You can see 30 and a wake ups on the computer. I'm at 79,000 subscribers. We're trying to get to 80, so make sure you subscribe. All right, here's the bathroom. So it's a very basic bathroom. But one thing I always look for when I'm looking for a place to stay is to make sure there is some counter space. Because a lot of times you'll have a sink in here, it'll look really cool, it'll be some artsy fartsy type of sink, but when you go to use the sink, there's nowhere to put your toothpaste and all that stuff because it's this round sink, it has no ledges. So this one has plenty of space for you know your stuff, especially if you're staying here a month, you need some space for your, to hold your toothpaste, your toothbrush, your toothpaste, your deodorant, all that kind of stuff. Um, and then you have the toilet here. There is a bum gun, everyone loves a good bum gun. <laughs> Hang your stuff here, you got a window to keep the steam out. And this, this is a traditional Thai shower. You control your hot water here. I actually like this. I wish we had this in the States. The hot water is instant, but it only heats up what you need. So it actually works out great. And you can have as much hot water as you want. If you wanna stay in here for a month, take a long, big, long shower, you're okay. You can stay in the shower 
for a long time um, when you heat the water that way. I love them. I wish they had them in the U.S. So, yeah, just a basic shower. This is in Thailand. You call this a wet bath because basically the whole thing um, can be wet, and that's how they clean it. So, um, pretty cool. I mean, just it's a good bathroom. All right. I'm only on the second floor. I'm a little bit worried about that. We'll see tomorrow if there was too much noise. Right now there isn't. But let's step out here and check it out. So you got a place to dry your clothes. I showed you where the laundromat was earlier. You don't have one in the unit, but you do have one. There's where I live right now. Uh, I've lived for the last month. And right there is the coffee shop I showed you. Amazing coffee. You can just walk out in the morning. For a little bit over a dollar, you can get you know, your white chocolate mocha if you want, or, you know, just regular coffee. If you're a regular coffee drinker um, and you're right in the heart of Niman, right out there is the, one of the main streets for Niman. There's a ton of places to eat. There's um, $6 massage parlors all over the place. You can get a one hour long foot massage. So just an amazing, amazing location. And uh, what was the last thing I want to show? Oh, here is the... Whew. The AC, so you have a remote control so you can control it from your bed. And this is what will really determine how much your electricity bill is. Do I recommend this place? I have no idea. I'm gonna sleep here tonight. That's, that's what separates me from some of the other people that do apartment tours. I'm actually gonna stay in the apartment. I'm gonna put my money where my mouth is. I'm gonna you know, pay to stay here. I'm gonna stay here and I'm gonna give you a, an honest review of whether I could stay in this place for a night or a week or a month, but I wanted to show you this lower cost option in one of the hippest neighborhoods. So I'm gonna hang out the rest of the afternoon here. I'm gonna jump in bed, go to bed. I'll be back and I'll tell you what it was like when I'm getting ready to check out. That'll be instantaneous to you, so. Ah, good morning. The sun is out, so it's really bright. I could shut that curtain, I guess, if I wanted to, but, uh, I slept in the bed. It's nice and comfy. It's, I think it's the same bed that's in my other building. My other building, by, by the way, my apartment is right there, my other apartment. So now you know how close I am to that. But um, yeah, so I slept in the bed. I took a shower in this apartment. I, um, you know, I'll take another one this morning. I took one last night. I, uh, you know, ate dinner right over there. I worked on the internet, I watched Netflix, I watched their cable TV, I even um, dried, I always bring a washcloth with me, that's one of my travel hacks because most, most places you run on Airbnb in Thailand don't have washcloths, they have towels, but I like to use a washcloth. And so I have my own washcloth and so I dried it out there on the drying rack, it worked out well, I used the AC. I've lived in this apartment, so what do I think? Um, I'm gonna be completely honest with you. Next time I come to Chiang Mai and I wanna rent a place for a month, I think I'm gonna rent in this building. Um, I might just rent this executive suite, which is uh, a little bit over $200 a month, about 208, I believe it was, 7,000 baht. I might rent this one, but I also might rent the even more budget-friendly options they have. They have one for about 160 US dollars, uh, 5,500 baht, and then the other one that I, sh uh, you know, showed you on their website for 6,000 baht, um, which is about $180. So yeah, I, I think I could definitely do even the more budget friendly options and save even more money. Uh, I, I really enjoyed it. Like this is actually more my style than my current place. My current place is a one bedroom. So for those of you that like one bedrooms, they also have one bedrooms in here uh, and two bedrooms as, as a matter of fact. But I like studios. I know a lot of people don't, but I'm sure there are other people like me. So I actually enjoy, I really enjoy this apartment. I could definitely live here for a month easy, even longer. It's in a great neighborhood. It's right across from my favorite coffee shop um, and a bunch of my favorite restaurants. So I could definitely see myself staying in here when I come here in the future. So let me know what you think of this. Do you, do you like this like format where I go stay in a place, tell you how much it costs for the month, actually spend the night in it, use everything? Do you like that format? Would you like to see me stay in cheaper places? Like, would you like me to find a place that's only $100 a month 
and stay in that a night and give you my opinion? Or would you like to see me stay in a place that's 3,000 a month? You know, tell you what that's like. Let me know down in the comments what you wanna see in the future with this kind of video. And if you like this format where I actually spend the night in the unit. Thanks for watching. See you next video.